So good morning guys, I'm just about to do my makeup um, and I thought I'll just have a bit of a chit chat because I'm going to be going to the post office with my sister this morning. You would have seen at the start of this vlog I quickly packed two orders and then behind me I have a bunch of orders that I packed. I think it was yesterday and the day before so today is Tuesday the 29th of June when I'm filming this and it's 8 minutes past 8. Um, so this is the primer that I'm going to be using, it's just a Too Faced Primed and Peachy. Um, I have quite a few primers to be honest with you um i just mix and match with them i don't really think they make much of a difference but i don't feel right unless i put a bit of primer on my face um so yeah i'm just going to do a bit of my makeup on camera and chit chat to you guys because i feel like i have quite a lot of updates to share i have like a hamster cage video coming up in like the next couple of weeks i'm going to be giving bluebell a nice sort of summer themed cage um but before then, I don't really have any intentions of filming any, like, hamster content. Um, I'm going to quickly go and um, dampen my beauty sponge. Right, so I'm back. And I'm just going to pop on my um, concealer. So the concealer I use um, is just this one by, um, I think it's by Maybelline. And I'm in the shade 11 Tan. I've got quite a lot <laughs> going on. Um, at the moment, for the last week on and off, we've had like workmen in, well decorated should I say, because we're getting the living room slash dining room, kitchen, hallway and bathroom um, redecorated. So in the living room and the front room, kitchen and hallway, we're getting the walls painted and we're also getting some really nice grey wooden flooring put down finally, because my mum's been talking about this for years. I didn't think it was ever going to happen. Um, and yeah, so we're finally getting that done. Um, and then in the bathroom, it's going to be painted. Um, I think it's also going to be tiled. So yeah, <laughs> so that's been quite stressful to be honest. And they've been here sort of on and off every other day um, for a couple of hours, just working on just working on that really this whole flat is pretty much just upside down it has been for like a couple of months now because um we got some new sofas and we've got like new furniture mixed in with old furniture that we couldn't really do much with until the place has been decorated and stuff and now that the place is getting decorated things are just more all over the place we technically don't have a living room at the moment or a dining room or much of a kitchen um because everything's kind of put away and um yeah i just can't wait for it to all be over to be honest with you guys um and if you saw my last vlog um which was the one where i went to a job interview i'll link it in the description but um yeah i got the job it's in an rspca um charity shop it's just part-time 25 hours a week six months so i'm going to be there till january and I start on the 4th of July, I'm doing four days a week. Um, I'm just gonna pop on my foundation now. You guys know the foundation I use, it's just this Revlon um, Color Stay. I'm in the shade Caramel. All of my foundations and powders are always like caramel. <laughs> no, they've always got such tasty names. So I'm doing four days um, and two of the days, it's kind of like half day and I start in the um in the afternoon which is quite good because you guys know I have my shop tiny paws and co um so I'm gonna be able to pack orders in the morning when I wake up because I wake up quite early uh and I don't start till like one so I'll be able to like get up um pack orders and there's actually a post office um by my workplace like a minute or two walk from where I'm working um but also because I start late I might just be able to pop into my usual post office in town um and then I can get the bus to work from there so either way <laughs> even one would work to be honest um and yeah so I'm trying not to think about starting this new job to be honest if you are out so I'm just gonna like overthink so I'm trying to enjoy my last my last week before I'm like stuck <laughs> with this work for the next for the next six months but the money will be good um the experience will hopefully be good as well um because it's pretty much in retail so yeah um I've made like a note I've made like a list of things I wanted to talk to you guys about in my notes or else I will forget because um I tend to just go off track when I'm talking I'm very rambly um very 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 rambly and I feel like I never 
um, get straight to the point. If you're wondering why I'm going like side to side, it's because I've got like a little mirror here. Um, a little makeup mirror, but I also have like mirror doors on my wardrobe and the mirror on there um, is, the mirror is incredible, it's amazing, it's really clear. So I'm just like checking to make sure I'm doing like my makeup okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my powder and my, um, my blush. I need to do my eyebrows as well. So I'm just going to go and grab those products and I'll be back with you. So I think my sister's on her way. So I've just done the quickest eyebrows and I also put some um, liner on my lower lash line. So the powder I'm using is just the this Rimmel, the Rimmel London Colour Stay. Is it called Colour Stay? I can't remember. It's rubbed off. I've repurchased this like three, four times over the years. Um, it's completely rubbed off, but it's in the shade um, Translucent. If you use this or like the Primark um powder um i'm not too fussy with powders to be fair um yeah so the main thing i wanted to like touch upon in this video um was that if you're quite familiar with my channel and you've been watching my channel since well the last four years pretty much since 2017 around about the time when i done my redecorating my um bedroom vlogs which is crazy because i can't believe it's been that many years since i redecorated my bedroom i love my bedroom i've done such a good job at redecorating it i painted the walls myself i done the wallpaper myself basically you guys would have seen my boyfriend um charlie he's been in quite a few of my videos over the years and his first appearance in my videos was back then in 2017 um and the last time he was on my channel was about a month ago when we went to Watford I'm just going to do my blusher now I'm just using this Revolution blusher um, and it's in the shade Coral Dream um, so yeah the last video he was in was about a month ago and that was when we went to Watford we went to the Harry Potter studio tour um, but yeah so we've been together for four years and a couple of days ago we actually broke up so you won't be seeing Charlie on my channel anymore unfortunately for you like for you guys who like seeing him in my videos i used to get a lot of like really nice comments whenever he was in my videos of how much you guys liked him and stuff um but yeah so we broke up a couple of days ago um i know i'm probably gonna get like a lot of you guys going are you okay and stuff like when i told my friends i was like oh my god are you okay and let me just like put these away for my lips today i'm just using this baby lips this is in the shade blueberry Boom, this one smells really nice. To be completely honest with you guys, I'm absolutely fine about it. The thing is, I was it was my decision to end the relationship anyway. I'm just about to start putting my um my lashes on. I've got to wait for the glue to go like a little bit tacky before I put it on first. Um but yeah, we just sort of wanted different things. Pretty much just decided to go our separate ways. Um we ended it on good terms, um, so there's no like hard feelings or anything like that. And um, yeah, I just thought I would update you guys on that because it'll be a little bit weird if um, one minute I went from being with him and he's on my channel and stuff and then eventually being with someone else and you're like, um, what what happened to Charlie? Like, where, where did he go? So I just wanted to do like a, a quick explanation um, as to why you won't be seeing him in my videos anymore um, or why I'm not with him anymore. And um, yeah, so for any of you guys who have been in a long-term relationship, you could, you will probably understand understand what I mean when you're like around the age that I am and you're just like growing up and sometimes you're still trying to figure out what you're trying to do like I'm going to be 24 and still even now I'm still like putting my life together if that makes sense like I know what I want um but it's just kind of like getting to that stage if that makes sense um but things are very expensive I was talking to one of my um school friends that I keep in contact with well I haven't really spoken to her properly in a long while but I messaged her I reached out and messaged her the other day we was chatting and stuff last night and she still lives with her family and we was just talking about how expensive it is to like rent places and stuff and yeah adult life is very 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 expensive and as well me and Charlie were like long distance because he lives in Kent I'm sorry you can't see me I'm trying to put my lashes on and it's so hard to do it in that little mirror I need to do it in my big mirror but yeah Charlie lives in Kent and I live in London so it's like an hour away and honestly it's it's kind of like ridiculous trying to meet especially when neither of us um like drive i'm gonna start doing my driving lessons soon um but 
neither of us could drive so I had to get like a taxi there which he did always pay for but it was like 70 pounds there and back I think it was in 2019 or the start of 2020 we decided to start getting like the train because it was cheaper um it was like still a longer journey we had to get two buses and a train so it was just a hassle sort of getting from A to B which is why we only really saw each other once a month or once every um two months just because it was very expensive to meet and stuff so yeah that was that was another factor as well and just and just that the things that I want to do in life and the stuff that I know I want to do especially within the next I don't know the next six months I would say um I want to actually just stop saying that I, I'm like I would like to do this I would like to do that and just and just do it you know like things like traveling I really want to um travel I want to like travel around the UK first me and Charlie have been saying we was going to do that for like probably since 2018 and we just haven't really done that um so I really want to just travel to places around the UK and eventually I'll sort my passport out um I need to get an adult passport um and then I want to go on holiday I love traveling I really 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 do love traveling um I love going places and I just I just haven't done much of it at all and that's something I really 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 want to do in the next six months to a year probably won't go abroad anytime soon because I'm more focused on like getting my own flat sort of thing because I need a two bedroom so I can have like a room for my um business I need to have like an office room slash slash pet room um so I, I don't want anything smaller than a two bedroom but I don't mind doing like little weekend trips and stuff around the UK but it's just like I don't have anyone to do that stuff with at the moment like I said I want to stop saying I want to do this I want to do that and actually like and actually just do it because if I keep saying I'm going to do it I'm going to do it um I'm just I'm just never going to do it and sometimes it's just great to just do things spontaneously as long I'm getting mascara in my hair as long as it's not anything like super crazy or dangerous or anything like that um, then if you want to do it just just do it like what are you waiting for really um, so that's kind of like the mindset I have at the moment I need to clean up under my eye and get this mascara out my hair I just want to say my next video will be a weekly vlog because I do actually start my job on Sunday so it won't be like a back-to-back -back sort of weekly vlog if that makes sense There's something really exciting happening tomorrow which I'm also quite nervous about because I'm overthinking it <laughs> I was telling my friend about it last night um and I, I'm such an overthinker I overthink way too much and yeah I just worry a lot about everything but I've got something really exciting happening tomorrow um and then I start my new job on Sunday it'll be a weekly vlog but the days just won't be back to back if that makes sense not going to be a lot of content from tomorrow but i just kind of want to document it if that makes sense you'll understand what i mean when you see the video um and yeah so i think that's pretty much my makeup done it feels like there's something missing i don't know what it is maybe it's because i'm using um i'm using a different headband and i don't really like these eyelashes i've worn them before but I just feel like they're really, really, really heavy on the ends and I haven't put them on the best because I'm sort of like rushing because my sister's going to be picking me up soon. Um, and I can just, I just don't feel like I suit these lashes and I never put these ones on right. But they were the quickest ones to grab. I just can't be asked to figure out which one belongs to which and with these thick ones they they stand out so it's so easy to grab and i need to start putting um my orders into a bag because then when my sister's here i can just go down um but i'll show you guys an overview of the orders so here's all the orders from the past couple of days or the last week and um i'm finally sending back my um H&M return this is just a bunch of tops and stuff I reordered a lot of them in like a smaller size the other week but I've just been meaning to um return this parcel here's just a really quick overview of today's outfit still need to get my shoes and stuff on but I'm actually just wearing all black today the weather is horrible it's due to rain um it's supposed to be June and summer is just summer's just not here um so I've just got these black jeans on I think they might be ASOS 
or something like that um but they're ripped at the knee um i've got my asos b buckle belt on which i haven't worn for a little while and i've just got this old primark top on which is actually mesh and then i've just got my jewelry from anna luisa um i really like this necklace because this is it's a double-sided necklace i really love this one and the coin one they're my favorite and um, i'm just wearing my favorite anna luisa bracelet which just it just looks like this and um my earrings i'm just wearing these hooped ones from asos I'm just quickly rushing to get my stuff together because my sister's pretty much outside. I got my phone and my spare battery because I was talking so much. This battery is almost dead. Um, so I'm just gonna give you guys a really quick um, overview of my outfit. So I've just got my jacket on. It's just my black suede jacket from Primark. I've got some black, I think they're Nike shoes on. Um, super, super comfy. And I've just got my usual tote bag. You guys know I love this bag when I'm going to the um, post office. And I don't think I mentioned, but I think my sister says she wants to go into Primark. If we do, I need to get some more socks, just some like ankle socks for when I'm wearing like my trainers and stuff. Cause I was literally pulling out like six pairs of socks today just to find these ankle socks. So. I think I need some more um and uh yeah so I'll have a proper catch up with you guys once I get back There's a dead parrot outside my house. I only got one thing in Primark. Why am I trying to put my bag back on? I only got one thing in Primark. It's just these trousers. They were seven pounds. The trousers I got, I don't have anything like these. Um, they just looked really nice and comfortable, and I liked the um, the little bow on them. So I've just tried them on. I'm not sure how well you can see them. Um, they fit okay. They're not as flattering on as I thought they would be. I'll probably just wear them with, I don't know, sandals, flats, maybe some trainers or something. Um, just like a really comfy, casual pair of trousers. I can wear these for, um, for work. I need to get some more jumpers for work because I really don't have that many jumpers. I'm just after some black ones mostly. So I'm going to order some off, um, off ASOS, but it's annoying because it's not quite jumper season it's spring so it's been quite hard to find some just normal non-expensive jumpers um so i might just go ahead and order some today because i've got a couple in my in my basket um and yeah i don't really think i have much else to share with you guys um in this video and my battery um is flashing as well because it's gonna die um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video um i hope you enjoyed watching it if you did give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below um i know i haven't really posted much hamster videos recently but my channel is pretty much lifestyle vlogs and i like to share with you guys what's going on in my life and i just haven't really been doing much hamster stuff at the moment and i've just been busy with, <laughs> with other stuff um but bluebell was fine she's okay she's absolutely fine um she's happy healthy content um and yeah so i'll see you guys in my next video which will be a weekly vlog and uh yeah so i'll see you guys there bye for now